Kia ora. Hi guys. Hey, welcome to this little prediction video. Now remember this is only for fun. So you can take from it what you like, but we're looking at this from an entertainment perspective only. So I've had a few requests to have a look at the NBA finals that are going to be coming up. I don't actually follow the basketball particularly much myself, although in saying that I've had a family full of men who've played basketball. So, and we have had a New Zealander playing in the Oklahoma team, and that was Stephen Adams, who was doing a particularly good job. So there is quite a lot of interest in the NBA Finals from a New Zealand perspective, and I know a lot of New Zealanders are actually following it and watching it. So I thought we would have a quick look into some energies and see if we can kind of collectively see what type of um, messages are coming out and how accurate we might be as the games lead up to the very finals. So it looks as though the two teams are the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Warriors. So we are going to use these um, Rider weight, and I can tell you now that these have got reversals in them as well because I did some reversals the other day. So there are reversed cards in here. Um, we'll pull two rows. The first row is going to be for the Warriors on the left and the second row is going to be for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Um, it appears, judging by commentary at the moment, that the Warriors are probably the favourites. So let's see what's going to happen for them. Okay. So looking at that, if this is the Warriors over here, this looks to be a slightly better draw lot than this, mainly because of these two cards here, which tend to have a little bit more of an isolated or withdrawing type feeling to them. The ace is usually a sign of um, success, and success, this one in particular, through the loss of something else, like another team. This card here is also kind of like holding on, like grim death to your, um, to your title or your your pride and success so that also has that feeling with it as well and this is definitely a feeling of loss so whether or not this is just the three games the first three games which is a possibility so a little bit more shuffling let's draw a final outcome card for the overall NBA champion winner for 2016 is it the Warriors or the Cavaliers one last card each. The first will be the Warriors, the second the Cavaliers. Mm, still going. Okay. Page of Pentacles, more finances. Yeah. Actually there are two cards. But um, I think that the Warriors look as though they will be more in line to take the championship out. And given, I suppose, that they are the preferred favourites, it might make sense. So there you are, guys. Leave your comments. What do you think of the card placements and layouts and the overall outcome possibility? Thanks for tuning in. Take care.